Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another BitGirl video where today I'm going to be talking to guys about Polkadot. We're going to be breaking down what it is, taking a look at their official website, looking at some statistics on coin market cap as well as their socials and finally taking a look at the dot to usdt chart and explaining what's going on there and how the future looks for polka dot before i begin this video a little disclaimer before i start i'm not a financial advisor and therefore i'm not accountable for any losses that you may make in the crypto or nft world so please do your own due diligence leave a like slap that subscribe button and comment down below what your favorite thoughts about this video and polka dot are at the end and finally without further ado let's jump straight into it, starting off with what Polkadot actually is. So they've got this new thing, the parachain messaging is here. Parachain to parachain communication is now enabled with XCM. Polkadot's vision of cross-chain interoperability starts here. So that's something new that they come up with and it's great. And down here we've got some key points of their entire project and their platform. Number one being true interoperability. Essentially, it enables cross blockchain transfers of any type of data or asset, not just tokens. Connecting to Polkadot gives you the ability to interoperate with a wide variety of blockchains in the Polkadot network. They've got the economic and transactionable scalability where it provides unprecedented economic scalability by enabling a common set of validators to secure multiple blockchains. Then we've got the easy blockchain innovation where you can create a custom blockchain in minutes using their substrate framework and connect your chain to Polkadot, get interoperable, inter operability and security from day one and this ease of development helps Polkadot's network grow. We've got their high energy efficiency security for everyone which they are very focused on. The novel data availability and validity scheme allows chains to interact with each other in a meaningful way. The chains remain independent in their governance but united in their security. And finally the user driven governance. It has a sophisticated governance system where all stakeholders have a voice which is always very important in every project. You can learn more about it over here, but essentially powering the Polkadot network are three distinct purposes, governance, staking, and bonding. The first one, where the token holders have complete control over the protocol, all privileges, which on other platforms are exclusive to miners, will be given to the relay chain participants, the DOT holders, including managing exceptional events, such as protocol upgrades and fixes, the staking, where the game theory incentivizes token holders to behave in honest ways, the good actors are rewarded by this mechanism, whilst bad actors will lose their stake in the network, which is logical. This ensures the network stays secure. Finally, the bonding, they've got new parachains adding by bonding tokens. Outdated or non-useful parachains are removed by removing bonded tokens. This is a form of proof of stake, which is very smart, might I add. Essentially, you can learn more about the DOT token over here, discovered DOT, and also, it's a fun fact that these guys were founded by some of the blockchain industry's foremost builders and you have all about the team right on this button over here. You can check it out if you want. And also they have a blog, which is also very interesting. They've got the latest XEM v2 audit completed by Quartz Lab. They've got the introducing in Cointer, making Web3 truly inclusive and the Polkadot v1.0 sharding and economic security. So if you're interested, go check them out and you can join the community as well if you want to get involved. Speaking of the community, we're going to take a quick glance at their Twitter page over here. They've got 1.3 million followers and they're pretty big over here. They value their community immensely and they keep them updated on everything. So you might want to give them a follow and essentially that would be their Twitter page. Now we're going to move on to the statistical part of the polka dot right now they're looking at some 9.08 dollars in price and you can see their polka dot to usd to usd chart right over here on coin market cap where uh in the one day time frame we can see they're consolidating their high was at like uh 10 24 pm but that's not really what's important we can take a look at the seven day frame where we can see it's more in the red than in the green but if we take a look at the yearly that I wanted to show you guys is that from November of uh, 2021, they have been descending and they've been going down and it's not been looking good lately, especially having the, uh, the market crash and everything in the crypto world going to absolute chaos. They've been just toppling down and uh, they're grasping for some air. And speaking of that, we're going to take a quick look at this article. This breakdown pattern in dot can spell bad news for the near term. So. We're going to see what's going on uh, with Polkadot and uh, how it's going to survive this tough spot. 
After flipping 180 from its early April highs, Polkadot has been on a persistent decline over the last two months. During this phase, the 38.2 and the 23.6 Fibonacci levels curbed most bullish revival attempts. The current price is set up could pay play out in favor over uh, of the bears as the price action squeezes between a symmetrical triangle that we can see right over here and that i'm going to show you a bit later on and any reversals from the upper trend line of the triangle could expose dot to a potential downside in the coming sessions at press time dot traded at 9.86 dollars up by 6.22 percent in the last 24 hours essentially the recent retracements pulled DOT towards its 16-month low on 12th of May after a 55% weekly decline from the 5th to the 12th of May. And since then, the incrementally higher through th truths uh, saw, a saw a refutal by the bearish peaks, thus forming a symmetrical triangle on the daily time frame. Essentially, gauging the trend from a bird's eyes view, DOT's previous downtrend could inflict a downside breakout from this triangle and the volumes have gradually declined during this symmetrical triangle formation. Essentially, the traders and investors should watch out for the breakout day volumes to assess the effectiveness of said triangle. Now, the RSI's growth from its oversold region has helped it test the 44 mark re resistance and any reversals from this mark are the trend line resistance would affirm a bearish divergence with the price. The MACD lines have depicted in selling power over the last day, but unless these lines cross the equilibrium, the buyers would have a tough time turning the tide in their favor. So you should definitely watch out and let me know your guys' uh, opinion about the future of Polkadot down in the comments below. In conclusion, looking at the symmetrical triangle squeezing at the confluence of resistance, DOT could face a near-term setback. So you should definitely beware and the close below the triangle could lead to the alt for a test of 8.6 dollars support followed by the 7.3 dollars zone if the bulls find renewed buying pressure a short-term rally could see restrictions at the 38.2 percent level and at last an overall market sentiment analysis becomes vital to complement this technical factors to make a profitable move so once again this is just the opinion of one person or the person who wrote this article so i'm definitely interested in what you guys have to say but speaking of this we're going to take a quick look and conclude this video with the dot to usdt chart seeing as uh this was in november of 21 as i've already showed you on coin market cap this was their high and they've been descending down and we can see this descending triangle right over here it's just all going down they've got this zone of support right down here and essentially there's two ways that this can go as always but it could spike up possibly but not that likely as we've heard or if we take a look at the previous article that we just read through uh it's probably not going to do that but there's always a chance since it has been descending for so long and it could form a kind of a bearish correction pattern or it could just go down and break this zone of uh, support and continue toppling down and come back to this phase over here that it was in 2020. essentially it could look good it could look bad but these are just some analysis that i wanted to share with you guys and i definitely want to hear what your opinions are is it going to go up is it going to save itself or should investors and buyers be careful about uh investing or anything related to polka dot un until the danger is gone let me know down in the comments below and thank you guys so much for watching this video uh, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, smash that subscribe button, and comment down below once again what your favorite thoughts and predictions about Polkadot are in the comments down below. I really hope to see you all in the next video.